today's topic, who is really behind cancel culture, okay? I'm your host. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of talk these days about cancel culture, and most people, if you ask them about it, have a problem with it. They don't like cancel culture. They don't like people's lives being destroyed because they made a mistake or they said something politically incorrect or did something politically incorrect. But who exactly is behind cancel culture and who has the power to actually bring people down and cancel them? That is what we're going to talk about today. Okay, because who gets blamed right now for cancel culture is primarily the millennial and Generation Z uh, generations, along with liberals. Okay, these are the people most frequently blamed for cancel culture. But are they in fact the ones with the power? Mm. It's always interesting how those with the most power to affect significant change in society always find someone else to blame for all the problems in society. And who usually gets blamed? Typically, the people with the least power. The normal citizen, the immigrant, the opposite sex, the minority. They're the problem, they are the problem. But who actually has the power to enforce cancel culture? Who? If a group of so-called Karens decide to attack a particular person, group, business, or organization to uh, cancel them, in quotation marks, cancel them. What power do these so-called Karens actually have to make the cancellation happen? In reality, very little, because a Karen is just a random so-called white, so-called female person that has a little bit too much time on their hands and spends their time trying to take down people they disagree with, okay? How much power do these individuals actually have? For cancel culture to work, it needs muscle. People with power and influence have to support it, to enforce it. Okay? Those who lose their jobs over cancel culture are not getting canceled at the hands of millennials, Karens, or so-called woke liberals. They are getting canceled at the hands of whom? Whomever employs them or empowers their platform, they are getting canceled by the people at the top. Okay? Yes, the people at the top are enforcing cancel culture. Much like a mob boss makes the rules and uses lower level pawns to enforce them. He, the mob boss, keeps his hands clean and maintains an image of innocence while his lower level pawns face the full consequences and the full burdens of their actions, along with all the credit. Okay? Cancel culture is coming from the top. The pawns of cancel culture are these so-called Karens, these so-called millennials, these so-called Generation Z individuals, and these so-called woke liberals. They are the pawns in the game, but they are not the ones with the power to enforce this so-called cancel culture. Mm -hmm. While some members of these groups might support or agree with the actions of cancel culture, they are not the ones with the power to enforce it. This is just something to think about when you are blaming individuals or groups for the problems of the world. You need to ask yourself, who actually has the power to enforce the outcomes that you don't like? Who is enforcing it? Who is the muscle? Okay, that's the question you need to ask. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. You will subscribe to this channel. You will subscribe. Watch my other videos. I have plenty of other videos to watch. Hit that like button or this like button. You can post your uh, insults, your comments, your arguments below in the comments. Mention uh, video ideas you would like me to talk about next. And please have a nice day. Cheers.